Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Aquarius friends and friends of Aquarius. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So Aquarius, if you're new here, I do go over channeled messages for meditation. We look at some oracle cards, and then we move into tarot messages. If you're returning, it's good to see you guys again. Thank you so much for your support. I love having you guys here on this journey with me. So Aquarius, looking at your energy in meditation prior here, I had several things actually come through. Uh, and there is a symbol that came through too. This is a symbol that came through for cancer actually back in February. So um, we'll talk about that here in a second. But the messages that came through initially, the first thing that I heard was drowning and to find the shore. So you may be going through something right now where you feel like you're drowning um maybe drowning has something to do with your personal history as well there were several numbers i'll get to that as well that came through that i kind of have this feeling that they may have been um formative years as far as trauma goes for some of you so find the short where is your safety do you know where your safety is i'm seeing like a life jacket as well do you know what provides you safety do you know how to ascertain that safety do you know how to get that safety the next thing that I heard was cantankerous. <laughs> so um, I do feel like if this is you, if you feel like you're drowning right now, Aquarius, being cantankerous makes sense. Um, but I do also see that as a little bit of a benefit, to be honest with you. If I'm looking at not literally drowning, but if you're in a place where you are only surviving, um, I don't feel like there's time to even be cantankerous. There's not even time to be angry. You are just focused on surviving. So what that's saying to me, what spirit is saying coming through on that is that uh, it's important to maybe see where you do have moments where you are breathing, where you have the ability to be cantankerous, to be angry. And what is that anger trying to show you as well? Because it's just a message, right? telling you you're uncomfortable, asking you to pay more attention, asking you to find that safety, right? The next thing that I saw was um, skin, like indentation on the skin. And what I thought about was dehydration. So if you're dehydrated, um, like wearing a hat, let's say, there can be indentation that's placed on the skin, especially if you're dehydrated, it's, it's more difficult for those indentations to disappear. So drink some water, you guys, if you're not drinking water, okay? I did also notice, because this is kind of screaming to me, my left ear was itching just before I hit go, <laughs> hit record here. Um, kind of like an itchy, burny sensation. Um, I do feel like maybe you guys are waiting for a message. You're looking to receive something. Being on the feminine side, I do feel divine feminine, okay? Re receptivity but being the ear waiting for a message to hear back on something maybe you're applying to jobs maybe you've reached out to somebody you're waiting to hear something back okay i feel like there's a request maybe this is a part of why you're feeling cantankerous yeah. there's a request here to focus on your um, safety right now rather than what may be what you may be waiting for as far as a message goes. If that's a part, like you're looking for a job or something like that, if that's a part of your safety, what I'm getting is to focus on what you can do in the present moment to take care of yourself, i.e. drink water, okay? Drink some water, you guys. So the numbers that came through were 17, 18, and 23. And then the color violet. So this is why I'm feeling like there may have been something important uh, being a formative year for you, especially in the form of trauma, with violet coming through. Violet is going to be more like the crown chakra here. The violet flame is something I think about as well, which is going to be an energy that allows you to transmute things, allows you to heal. So if this is you, I feel like you're being drawn back to these moments to work on healing these things because I feel like it's affecting you in a major, major way right now. So the symbol that came through, the glyph, I'm gonna show this to you. You can pause the video so that you can draw this out and take advantage of the magic. This is called the motion of movement. So to me, this, um, this looks a lot like an airplane. <laughs> and I said this back in, in the cancer reading too. It looks like an airplane to me. It reminds me of movement. So the intention of this is to help provide some movement in your life. I feel like someone's feeling stuck somewhere. Okay. 
The instructions with this are to um, sleep on it. So to put this in your pillowcase or underneath your pillow, this is something that, and with the violet coming through too, this is something that uh, feels like an upgrade or some tweaking that's happening while you're sleeping. And I felt called to put these glasses on too, um, uh, being more, more of a violet. I think these are violet anyway. I think they're purple. I'm colorblind, you guys, so <laughs> welcome to my world. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're purple. Um, I can't remember though. So let's move on into your Oracle messages, you guys. Um, the Blue Angel Oracle is what I felt guided to work with, what Spirit wanted to work with. Two cards came out. You have Manifestation and Life Everlasting. So, um, 555 five, five here on the timer too. Major change. I do feel like major change is coming. It's available to you, especially with this symbol coming through. We're going to help. I feel like there's a need to like burn out the crap that's in your um, oven right now, your furnace, like putting it into self-clean mode. There's just some, some shit that's been floating around, particularly if this is you, 17, 18, or 23, those ages where something traumatic happened. It's time to uh, really release the rest of that, okay? Or to release it if you haven't approached it yet. So manifestation here we'll start with. This is wealth, abundance, both spiritually and physically. And the book talks about doors that were closed to previously becoming open. So I love this in line with the symbol and everything. We're unlocking some movement. We're allowing things to move that haven't been able to move for quite some time or at all. Okay? We're going to help you get to that shore. There's a need to get to shore. You can't, you can't drown forever, right? <laughs> um, life everlasting here. This is your immortal, immortal nature, excuse me. The book talks about a new chapter starting for you. So I love this in combination with the manifestation, the movement, moving into something positive, okay? And positive and negative, light and shadow are always going to be a part of our lives. But we're talking about moving what has been like clinging on, moving, moving that cling on right on down the road <laughs> so that you guys can move towards Whatever it is that you have been working on or want in a positive nature, a new opportunity, a fresh start. You deserve that, Aquarius. Be the expression of love that you are is something that the book talks about too. So um, don't forget to be the expression of love that you are. You are love, okay? And I love you. I love you. So I do feel called to pull a Starseed Oracle card for you here too. Spirit, what do we have here for Aquarius? Ooh, I just flew right on out. Mmm, okay. Quail, <laughs> loosen your grip. Coping mechanisms, density, addiction, and let God in. So with that violet coming through, that makes sense here too with the crown chakra. Let God in. Are you doing something? Maybe this is a part of why you feel like you're drowning. Are you leaning on uh, coping mechanisms, on substances? You're human, so, well, probably. We, we slip into that, right, on and off depending on what is going on in our life. But I feel like this is talking more to individuals that uh, may literally be struggling with an addiction, okay? An addictive behavior. Please do not be afraid to go get help. There's help available, no matter where you are, I promise, okay? Um, but yes, let God in, okay? Invite that in. Be the expression of love that you are, which to me, that is God, is love, all right? Okay, so we're going to pull an animal spirit oracle for you and then get right on into the tarot, into the tarot. What do we have here for Aquarius, please, spirit? Animal spirit messages. This is the wild unknown animal spirit oracle. The rabbit, yes. The bee here, too. This, um, this actually came through for Capricorn. Maybe um, if you have, well, we all have all the signs in our chart, but um, if you have strong Capricorn placements, I encourage you to go watch that one. It was a really good one. Talking about your ascension process, but your connection to community, reaching out to your community. Do you need help with something? Don't be afraid to reach out. And speaking of fear, we have the rabbit. The rabbit talks about fear and the role that that plays in our life as far as how we're expressing that and what that's bringing in because we are expressing that or how we're expressing it. There will always be fear. 
But that doesn't mean that we have to choose to be afraid, right? Being afraid, I feel like, is a more permanent state or a vibration. Fear can come in and fear can also leave, just like any other experience in this, in this um, video game, okay? But the rabbit is talking to their friends about how they're afraid the eagle is going to come swoop, swoop down and eat them. And because of that, the eagle hears that and comes down and eats the rabbit. What a great idea, rabbit. Thank you. So I feel like there is a caution right now to watch your words, you guys. What are you speaking into your own life? This has a lot of weight and importance always. But right now, in particular, if this is you where you're feeling like you're drowning, if something is really proving very difficult to move through in your life, how are you speaking to yourself? Are you treating yourself with love and the expression of love that you are? Are you treating yourself like you're shit? Please stop doing that if that is you, okay? I know it can be difficult to switch that dialogue and conversation, but it's not impossible. It's more than possible. And you deserve to love yourself. Again, I love you, okay, Aquarius? <laughs> That just makes me feel emotional. I love you, and I want you to love you too. I want you to give a shit. And that's not for everyone, but that's for someone. Shit, okay. <sighs> Moving right on into your, uh, wow. <laughs> your messages here, your tarot messages. <clears throat> Goodness, hang in there, okay? So the Fortuna deck is what we're gonna start with here. Spirit, what do we have here for Aquarius, my Aquarian friends? Ooh, <laughs> this isn't cancer, what's going on? <laughs> I don't think, you guys don't typically make me emotional, but here we are, here we are. <laughs> Ooh, all right, huge shout out to my channel members, you guys, hello. Thank you so much for your love and support. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there's a link in the description of this video. You can click on, there's a join button next to the subscribe as well. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. But feel free to hit that subscribe too if you haven't already. I do have personal readings open and available. If you're interested in those, there's a link. Whoa, okay, <laughs> not sure what's going on here. I was just saying there's a link in the description of the video here if you wanted to check out personal readings. Um, as I was saying that, and I'm probably not gonna, I'll, I'll edit this, but <laughs> um, you'll see it sounded like my front door just swung wide open. Like somebody just walked into my, my apartment here and um, the door is locked, okay, there's no, um, nobody came in, <laughs> but it just freaked my shit right out the door. Speaking of fear, kind of back to here to the rabbit, I feel like, um, spirit is really highlighting the importance of managing fear. Okay. <laughs> um, that was interesting. I've never had that happen before, but getting right back on into your messages, Goodness, yeah, we're just going through the full gamut of emotions here, you guys. So, Aquarius, back to back to your reading here with the Fortuna deck. Um, yes, what messages do we have here, please, Spirit, for Aquarius? Goodness, yeah, maybe maybe you're feeling jumpy. Maybe you're feeling like you're hearing um, sounds and that sort of thing. Your anxiety is that high. This is a case, I'm kind of drawn back to water, you guys. That was actually my first thought when that came through with the dehydration being dehydrated can cause depression anxiety it can cause confusion it can cause headaches okay um, a lot of the times i think we're looking for solutions outside of some really basic needs when taking care of our basic needs could solve some of those problems i'm not saying that's all of you but um, just incorporating that entire kerfuffle that was so interesting into the situation go drink some water and breathe okay so your hopes here in this situation, hopes and dreams. You guys have three of discs, three of coins, three of pentacles. So this is, um, this is success in working with others. This is recognition of your skills as well. You recognizing those skills, others recognizing your skills too. So I'm drawn back to the meditation here, um, as I was saying, or with opportunities opening up with manifestation, life everlasting. Maybe you guys are applying for jobs. 
Maybe you are looking to make a career change of some sort. You are looking for skills within yourself and you're hoping for others to recognize those skills inside of you as well. I feel like this is absolutely recognizable. Watch how you're managing the fear, okay? And I'm, I'm kind of drawing back to this here too. Watch what it is that you're allowing into your personal space. As far as consumption goes, media, music, TV, books, are you consuming fear? If that's the case, it's no wonder that you may be struggling with fear. Switch that up a little bit, okay? I'm not telling you how to live your life. Uh, I personally, I don't do horror, right? I don't, uh, I don't consume things that bring about emotions that I already feel enough in life, okay? And if this is you as well, I encourage you to think about that. Think about how it is that you're programming your subconscious mind because that's exactly what you're doing based on what it is you're consuming. Anything, YouTube, you know what I mean? If you're watching tarot readings that are um, sensationalist and dramatic and wanting to invoke fear or cause drama, well, uh, you're probably seeing that reflected in your life as well. Okay, I'm gonna get off my soapbox on that. Thank you, Spirit. So uh, moving into your, this is <laughs> the longest I've gone in here before getting deep into your tarot messages. Eight of Cups, yeah. A need to walk away from something, to leave something behind. So dovetailing off of what I just said there, if that's you, if that rings true for you, let that sink in. Try it. See what happens. Just eliminate some things that, um, like fear especially, like horror. If you enjoy watching horror, try cutting that out for a little bit and see how your life changes, okay? I'm not saying make a permanent change, but just be curious about it. Let's just see what happens. So what do we have here for Aquarius, please, Spirit? I guess we have been getting into your message, but this let's get into the tarot portion here. Um, this is a general message, BT dubs. So please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you and leave the rest behind. No need to take what isn't yours. Feel free to check out your rising moon, Venus, any other major placements in your chart. You are more than your sun sign. And we do have every sign in our chart, so I dare you to look. The Wheel of Fortune here at the split is standing out to me. Um, things changing, okay? Back to like doors opening up that weren't able to open before. How are those doors opening up that weren't able to open before? It's probably because it's attached to you changing something, doing something differently. Like I said, if that vibes with you, give it a shot. Look at what it is you're listening to music-wise, friends, consumption of food, media, okay? Give it a shot. You can always go back if you want to, but you don't have to either. So your fear aversion, queen of wands. This is confidence. This is authenticity. The queen of wands uh, knows what she wants and she, and she goes for it at all cost. Doesn't care what other people think about it, okay? Um, and I definitely, feel, I definitely feel that there is some fire energy in this balance that's needed for you guys, especially if you're working through fear you are working to make changes to open new doors for yourself. The fear, aversion, or anxiety towards this is maybe, maybe you're feeling like a fraud. Maybe you're dealing with some imposter syndrome. I feel like that's exactly what it is. Life is beating you down. Maybe you are one of these people or 17, 18, 23, those ages have something to do with your history. Look back on that, okay? Let's start getting curious about why we're doing things and what's going on in our life. So seven, <laughs> this Fell out a couple times while I was shuffling, pre-shuffling. Um, seven of Candles, being in your general here, 2002 on the timer. Which is going to be kind of off because of everything that happened. But um, Seven of Candles here, this is a need to take courage. This is a need to protect yourself too. Some of you could be feeling like you are just being attacked from all sides. If this is you or you're feeling like you're drowning... Maybe you're feeling like you're fighting an uphill battle or no matter what you do, there's just this constant barrage of kickback where you just can't get ahead. Please be careful if that is you because that's probably a story, okay? I promise you life is not against any life. The universe does want to conspire for your success and to make your dreams come true. Do you? And that's kind of what I'm getting from the Seven of Candles here. Do you want to join that frequency or vibration to conspire towards your own happiness? 
that it, it takes bravery. That takes courage to stand against a current that you're, uh, that you're facing right now, okay? Work towards centering yourself here. Meditation, if you're not already doing that, please start. Journaling, starting to pay attention to who, what, where, when, why, and how things are happening, okay? Okay, strength. <laughs> Speaking of some more, more courage here, you guys. I do feel like this is a tough time for you. And I know that it's more than possible there's a probability even, or this wouldn't be coming through in this reading, this energy is being highlighted at this time for you to make these changes. But this does require a level of compassion and strength and courage to look in on what's going on in your interior, interior realm, taking stock of that and being compassionate towards yourself. Okay, maybe you are, um, I'm led back to loosen your grip here. Maybe there is something you're dealing with addiction wise and you recognize how it's affecting your life. Maybe you don't want it there. Maybe you're at that precipice where you're ready to make a change or you're thinking about making a change, but you don't know how to make that change. Compassion, okay? Compassion is something that's really coming through strongly on that. Being kind and gentle towards yourself that is strength. Pushing yourself through something while being mean to yourself is not ever the way to move to where it is that you want to go. Be the expression of love that you are. Love is not hateful, okay? I'm going to get emotional again. You guys, my goodness. Whoever is struggling, I love you, okay? Don't give up on yourself. The good stuff. So you have the hermit. <laughs> I love this, um, this imagery in this deck too because of the symbol that came through the motion of movement here. Being the balloon. It's time to rise above. It's time to elevate your experience. Being in the good stuff here. The hermit, they, um, it's isolation, could be solitude. Um, finding the guiding light inside of ourselves, realizing that the truth realizing that what it is we're looking for as far as guidance is inside of us. It's not outside of us. It never is. And the more that you work towards this elevation in your own experience, the more that you see that. So I feel like what I'm getting is this, um, this expansion. So with the hermit, they've got the lantern, right? That light that is guiding them is light from inside of them. It's the star card which comes after the tower. So I do feel like there is, has been a tower moment. Maybe you're going through a tower moment. Something is collapsing. Something is coming down. But as that's happening or has, as that's happening or happened, the star comes through, which is your renewed hope. The star is you connecting to the divine. What is the divine? The divine is your ability to overcome human difficulty. The divine is inside you. And this light, although... Maybe right now it's only illuminating one step in front of you. That's the only thing that you need to do right now is take a step. Take a step in the direction that you can see in front of you. And the more that you take a step, the more that you start elevating here. And that candlelight, that starlight, starts to broaden out what it is that you can see. This is a process. Allow yourself the grace and flexibility to go through this process. You are being assisted, though. The more that you lean into that action, the more that that action is leaning into you, too. Okay? Ooh, I love that. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> Eight of Cups here comes through here, too. Being in your good stuff. So this fell out as I was shuffling. Um, a need to walk away from something. Being aware that there is something that you need to separate yourself from. Being in the good stuff. I see you guys and all the strength here, all this courage, this badassery that is Aquarius. You are picking yourself up and you're not by the bootstraps, okay? We're not, I hate that so much. <laughs> you're picking yourself up with grace and compassion because that creates long-term habits and health. When you hold yourself through something, not when you push yourself through something. Think back to you as a little kid. Would you, would you, say the same sort of things you're saying to yourself, to this inner child, this little you. I hope not. I really, really hope not. 
okay? But being in the good stuff, I see you guys making this decision to, to leave something behind. Maybe this behavior of treating yourself like you're broken because you're not. Not today, Aquarius, not ever, okay? God, I love you guys so much. This is making me emotional. <laughs> I think this is the first one, Aquarius, you guys have got me. The lovers, this came through here too as I was shuffling. That's, that's interesting. Thank you, Spirit. Priming the pump. So, and what you don't see coming. What's in the dark here? The lovers. The lovers here, this is a crossroads. Being at a crossroads. Being supported to take, take a track that you haven't taken before, Aquarius. In this deck in particular, both the devil and the lovers have this mirror. So... I'm drawn back to what you don't see here in the dark or what's hidden is you, your own reflection. Are you seeing yourself accurately? How are you speaking to yourself when you're looking at yourself in the mirror? Are you looking at yourself in the mirror? I'm getting there someone here that maybe can't look at themselves in the mirror. If you can't, why? What's going on there? What have you done that is so wrong? that you can't look yourself in the eye. Examine that. That's not everybody, but examine that, okay? For some of you, there could be, um, there could be a relationship coming forward, okay? I know many, Aquarius, you're all in different places here. And we've been talking more specifically about those who are really struggling. Maybe you are a little bit further ahead in this process where you've recognized that these steps need to be taken and you're taking those steps. If that's the case, I do feel like there is this higher love that's coming through for some of you. And you don't see this coming because you have been focused on yourself in a positive way, okay? Being in the, being in the good stuff. Um, maybe they're Gemini, okay? Or Virgo or Leo. <laughs> well, 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 okay. So what you don't see coming here I was just talking about the tower. Tower comes through. The whole spiel about the star and all, all that jazz. So mm, I do feel you guys, you are either going through this. Some of you, I do feel like this is something that's already passed. You're going through it currently, or it's just around the corner. Be not afraid. Okay. The tower does come through and the tower needs to come through. Life is about change. The only constant in life is change, right? It's important, and that makes sense actually with the lovers coming through being Gemini. Change, flexibility, the masters of change. I feel like the encouragement with this message here is yes, this, there's a tower that's coming down. Something that was built in your life, could be a job, a relationship, the way that you treat yourself, your health, okay? Because of how you've treated yourself, something is crumbling. But as something comes down, there's an illumination that comes with that too. Something that you weren't able to see before. If it's health, maybe you're seeing, bah, I got to take better care of myself, right? Aquarius, right. I need you to take better care of yourself. I want you to take better care of yourself. You deserve that. If it's a job, okay, that something coming to an end in that regard, there was something about that situation that was not serving you in a positive or healthy way. It had to come down. The ego is really involved in the building of these towers and we do it. Okay. We go, we go through these processes as a human being. It's not that you're doing anything wrong. You're learning and we're here to learn the school, the school of hard knocks here on earth. Okay. So something is, is going to be coming to a close, but I feel like it's also releasing you from something that has been very, very restrictive. Maybe this is why you're feeling cantankerous because you want to get the hell away from something and you deserve to, and you need to. Okay, so let's move into your um, obstacle or difficulty at this time. Four of Keys comes through. Four of Keys, Four of Swords. Um, this is a need to rest, a need to recharge, rejuvenate. I feel like the difficulty here right now is, especially if this is you, with something going on here coming to a close, depending on what it is that's coming down. This makes sense why fear with the rabbit is coming through. You are being asked to watch how you're speaking, okay? If something is coming down around you, don't speak more of that coming down. 
You can recognize that it's happening. You can validate to yourself, well, this is shit, right? But don't get wrapped up in that verbiage. This, I, I feel that there's fear. I feel that this feels like shit. Yep, that's valid. What's next? What doors are opening because this door closed, okay? And I know that's not easy to do, but it's so, so important. It's vital if you're wanting to make a change in your life. So with the four of keys here, what I'm getting is that um, there's a need to take a break, okay, between whatever is coming to a close and what needs to start again. And that's going to look different for everybody. Um, I feel like mostly this is a mental break, okay? Giving yourself a break. Absolutely. Thank you, Spirit. Giving yourself a break. Give yourself a break already. I do feel this, like, choking feeling. You are being so fucking hard on yourself. And it doesn't need to be that way. Maybe you are somebody back at those ages, 17, 18, 23. Maybe somebody was really hard on you growing up. You don't need to carry that baton. And it's if this is you, this is not serving you, right? This is not serving your greater mission to be a dick towards yourself, right? That's not everybody, but that is a very particular message for somebody. Again, I love you so much, Aquarius. Page of Pentacles. As your other card that comes through here is your difficulty. Page of Pentacles is being clever. Page of Pentacles is starting again. A new journey starting. And that was very heavy here in the beginning of the message here. There are new opportunities. There are new doors that are opening up to you that have not even been there in your, in your view. But they're there now because you're making different decisions. Because you're deciding to treat yourself differently. You're deciding to give yourself a break. But the Page of Pentacles is taking something um, old and turning it into something new. I'm seeing very much like whatever is happening here in this rubble, as the tower's coming down, we're not rebuilding that same tower. But if you need to, real quickly look through that rubble, grab what you can to take with you on this journey to help you start again, do that. Take things that you learn from this situation, okay? Um, and utilize that to fabricate, to build, to manifest what's next for you. You guys can do this, okay? Aquarius, I am going to end the reading here. I am going to move into, um, actually, I'm feeling you want an oracle card. Okay, yeah, we can pull an oracle card. Let's pull an oracle card here to close this out. And then I am going to move into the extended portion of this reading, part two. If you guys want to join me there, there are links in the description of this video. You can check that out. I do have memberships available as well as for sale individually. Um, final message here for Aquarius before we part. Advice. Balance. Balance. Bond here as well at the bottom. I'm brought back to the community of the bee. Don't make yourself an island right now, especially if you are struggling. Now would be the time to reach out for help. But balance, I feel like this is, this is encouragement. It's meant to be encouragement. Things are rebalancing in your life. Not because it's a punishment, but because this is what you're asking for. This is a part of what you're manifesting. If something in your life that has been put there by you, by anyone else, that is not aligning with whatever it is you're working to manifest, it's going to go. So there's a reminder here. I'm brought back to the four of keys too with balance. Make sure you're resting. Okay. Working hard is something I feel like that is coming down the pike here for you. Make sure you're resting too. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. Okay. Okay. Aquarius, I love you guys. So if you want to join me in the extended, like I said, that's in the description here. Private readings are open. Uh, I'd be more than happy to help you out if there's something you'd like to investigate more personally. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. I truly appreciate the support, you guys. In the extended, we're going to look at direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and then what is most likely being manifested for you. I do have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description, too, if you feel called to donate or tip. I truly appreciate it, you guys. It's not mandatory, but um, it is absolutely very helpful, and it goes a long way. And I appreciate those who do support the channel in that way. 
Of course, I love you, I love you, I love you. Please take care of yourself, and I'll see you all very soon. Okay? Be well.